Hello, my name is Linda, and today we will be speaking about the Protect Animals Project, uh, where we help educate students about endangered animals. And today I will be specifically speaking about endangered animals in Florida, in the United States of America, um, because I am a language assistant for English, and I am originally from uh, Florida, and so I teach in the Académie de Lyon, but today I will speak to you about our endangered animals in Florida. So what are endangered animals? Endangered animals are those who are likely to become extinct, and extinct means that they will no longer exist in the near future. If populations continue the trend of decreasing and two main reasons as to why there have been endangered animals is because of loss of habitat and loss of genetic variation. Today we will be speaking about loss of habitat um, because human activity contributes a lot to the loss of habitat. As you can see in this picture on this slide that we have, you can see that trees have been cut down. And with this, we have now animals that do not have a home, do not have a home in the trees. Um, and the loss of habitat usually happens because of wanting to develop housing areas for humans, um, as well as agricultural needs. So making farms, you have to clear the land as well, uh, which reduces animals' natural habitats. So where are endangered animals? Unfortunately, they are everywhere around the world. So as you can see in some of these pictures, we have the giant panda in Asia. That's an, an endangered animal. In Australia, we have the whale shark. In Africa, we have elephants that are endangered. Uh, in South America, we have the channel-billed toucan bird. And in North America, we have the American badger that is endangered as well. And so with this, you can see that all around the world, there are population decreases for certain animals. But today we are going to specifically talk about endangered animals in Florida. Uh, so this picture is a map of Florida. Uh, it's located with the Gulf of Mexico on the west side and on the east side you have the Atlantic Ocean. Um, so let's learn more about what animals are endangered in this area of the United States. One of them is the Florida panther. Um, so back in 1832 there was a bounty placed on panthers which had hunters that would heavily um, hunt and kill panthers because they were seen as a threat to humans and livestock. So livestock on farms, um, they would eat people's livestock back in the day and so that's why there was a bounty put on them. Basically a reward for having uh, killed these animals and we saw a rapid decline in the Florida panther population and now the primary threats to the remaining population is the habitat loss. Um, so because there's deforestation, so there are people that are building housing as well as farms, um, panthers lose their habitat. Now there are fewer than 100 Florida panthers living in South Florida. So very, very little. And something we can do to take action to save the Florida panther is to strengthen federal protections for Florida panthers, as well as deny permits that threaten panthers. So this is more of a state-funded type of approach, um, but if you personally would like to help out, you can always donate to the Wildlife Conservation Fund. Uh, there are certain groups that you can find on the internet um, that raise money to preserve the habitats that panthers live in, or also create new habitats. So similar to zoos, you have reserves, and there is where the panthers can live. 
And so in the next slide, I will provide a website if you would like to donate. So if you go to this link, it's uh, wildlifeflorida.givingfuel.com slash Florida Panther Fund. Um, here's where you can donate money to help the Conservation Wildlife Project. Um, and let's take a look at some other animals that are endangered in Florida. One of them is the Florida sea turtle. So sea turtles used to be over harvested. Um, they were hunted for their meat, their eggs, their leather, and their tortoise shells um, because of the beautiful colors and patterns. Unfortunately, in the 1970s, this caused turtle populations to crash dramatically, uh, to go downhill. And with this, there was a continue of population decline due to pollution in the water, um, as well as overdeveloped coastal areas. So with the pollution, there was trash, chemicals. Uh, sometimes there is garbage, like from fishing, so fishing nets. Uh, that sea turtles would eat, ingest, and it would cause death to them. For overdeveloped coastal areas, this is where there would be housing around the coasts, so next to the sea, and this would create more light um, on the beach area. And so when a mother a sea turtle lays her eggs, when the eggs hatch, the babies don't know where to go. They are dis disoriented um, because of the increase of light on these coastal areas. So ways that we can protect Florida sea turtles is to avoid marked off sea turtle nesting areas. Usually they have poles um, like wooden stakes with a yellow sign that says that this is a sea turtle nest area, please do not intrude. That way we're not breaking the eggs. Um, never litter on the beach, um, so make sure you don't leave any plastics, just any garbage that maybe you might bring with you if you're having a snack at the beach, please take it back. And lastly, you can also cut the rings uh, of plastics. So if you buy a six packs of sodas, sometimes they will come in rings to hold the cans. You can cut those to make sure that it will not, if this plastic goes into oceans and into the water, if a sea turtle gets caught by it, it can slip through instead of getting caught in its neck or its arms and restricting blood circulation. The last animal that I want to talk about that is endangered in Florida is the swallowtail butterfly. Um, one of the natural causes actually to the decline of butterflies was Hurricane Andrew that happened in 1992 and it decreased to only 58 individual swallowtail butterflies. So it was a major de decrease. But also habitat loss caused by humans pesticide use and other human activities started declining the population. So what can we do to help increase this population or to help save them so that they don't go extinct is on the next slide. So we have the National Park Service um, that does habitat restorations as well as the US Fish and Wildlife Service they help take individual butterflies into captivity starting in 2013. And what they do is try to uh, preserve the butterfly population and increase it uh, by doing captive breeding. And so the University of Florida, um, which is a state governed public university, as one of the top five universities in the US, has researchers that have been doing research on captive breeding for swallowtail butterflies to help increase the population. And lastly, I want to leave you with this reminder of please save and protect your and our environment. Um, this is a big thing uh, just to help limit trash as well as preserve what is still here on Earth. 
um, and do your part in conserving and helping wildlife so that we don't have animals that go extinct. Thank you. Goodbye.